There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. don't want to be called that listen aliexpress got bomb stuff too so don't be sleeping on them because this is from aliexpress plus they also got an amazon store too but this one is all about their aliexpress store so bear with me okay i'm trying to get my lighting setting fixed because sometimes i notice that i be looking a little bit blue or green and it's the camera settings it depends on the lighting so i got some new lights we're gonna see how those work out we're gonna see what it do I'm pretty sure you guys are like, why you got on a wig, girl, if you're about to do a wig tutorial. But, you know, I'm going to show y'all how to take it off and then switch to another wig real quick on the same day while I'm doing several videos or just in general. You know how you might want to go out and, you know what I'm saying, you, you looking, you, you, you got your work wig on. It's your work wig, okay? From work wig to, um, you know, going out wig. You know, you got a couple of hours to get ready or whatever. This about that, okay? I see hair. I think that's how you say it because it says I S E E. So I'm gonna say I see or is you just gonna call it what I'm calling it, okay? So anyway, they sent me their water weight hair from AliExpress, and it's a lace front. It's 13 by four inches. I can't remember. It's either 13 by four or 13 by six. And I did pre-pluck it. I did bleach it, and this is what it looks like, okay? This is exactly what it looks like. This is what your box will look like, okay, hunties? This is what your box. Will definitely look like but also inside you'll get a wig cap okay that's about all i got was a wig cap but bam and this is actually not the box from the aliexpress store this is from the amazon store but i'm pretty sure that they're exactly the same because they are black boxes and i've worked with this company before and they do have some decent hair but um i'm thinking that their the boxes are actually the same but i had threw that box away in the process of working on this but I decided to show you guys this wig so that way in case you do get a wig from them, you'll know what your package comes like. So like I said, this is from their Amazon store, but I'm pretty sure the wigs from their AliExpress store is identical. Or excuse me, the boxes, okay? It has the combs in the front and one in the middle and then a comb and adjustable strap in the nape. This is a water wave and I know it looks probably crazy right now because there's no water wave to it. It's because I pre-plucked it and all that good stuff. But I'm going to wet it on camera. We're going to see how the curl pattern you know works without having to wash it all over again Mommy, yes are you okay? yes i'm okay um, I can't give you a oh yeah oh, right oh that is you yes and you are awesome oh well can you get out now okay thanks bye I'm your kiss off. all right good you wipe my kiss off all right i'll get you for that one hmm. so what i was saying because tinky just lost my mind. okay so when I do water wave, wavy hair, curly hair, you know, sometimes you have to refresh the curl. And so instead of having to wash it, I just use some water in a spray bottle. But I don't use just plain water. I use conditioner in it. This is a couple of drops of conditioner in your water spray bottle. Your hair will not dry out. So in this particular bottle, I have the Carol's um, Daughters Leave-In Milk um, Hair Conditioner. Do not need a lot of this. If it's like this size, I would say like three or four squirts. If you do put too much of this product in your hair in general, it will make it greasy and very oily and moisturized. So this is how I'm going to reset the wig. So in that case, we about to just get into this video, see how cute we can end up looking. All right, you guys. So let's take this wig off and apply the next one. So I'm just going to take this bun down. Now this wig I did have on for a day and a half. And this one here, I did apply it or adhere it with the got to be glam forest hairspray and a little bit of the gel so it does hold really well so you make sure to as long as you make sure to put a scarf on at night to tie it down you really don't have to remove it it will hold for like a few days so I'm just going to brush all of the hair out make sure I don't have any tangles in this unit because I really do think it's cute and I like it but also you just want to make sure that you know you brush it thoroughly before you remove it, it makes it a lot easier to remove when it's not tangled and also you know you have the hair just neatly 
put together so that way you can just put it away if you choose to so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of this water and I'm just gonna spritz it right onto the hair and underneath the lace portion right here and I'm just going to take the nozzle and rub it in or excuse me take the nozzle and stick it under and just take the water and basically rub my fingers through it where it sticks the most like I said this is the actual hairspray so it takes less time it's not sticky it's not pulling at your hair and of course you may or may not have to wash the wig but normally if you just take it off after a few days all you have to do is brush the hairspray off so I'm just going to be using this Marc Anthony's um, virgin olive oil hair cream something like that I'll link it below and I'm just going to just re-moisturize my edges now it is red around the temple and that's only because you know I had to remove it and I was rubbing on it and stuff so and also because of the hair the wig was adhered to my head so that's the reason why I use the moisturizer just to make sure that my edges don't get as thin as they already are so as you guys see here I'm just putting this icy wig lace front on and I'm just gonna go ahead and I already cut the lace off of course but I'm gonna go ahead and make me some sideburn here so that is what you see me doing here this is definitely optional you don't have to do it if you don't want to but I feel like I need it along with that some of the baby hairs because it does help camouflage the unit you don't have to make them look all crazy like paste it to your face baby hair is all thick and stuff I really think that they're called wispy hairs I don't really know about you guys but I don't really like them too stuck down it all depends on the style that I'm going for but as you guys see at this little piece right here I'm cutting off just that tiny little piece of lace to some people it might not seem like it makes a difference but it actually does because it's on top of your ear so if you cut off that little tiny piece it will make a huge difference so now to this part I'm just gonna customize these baby hairs or wispy hairs and sideburn hairs because I really don't want them too long and I'm going to sculpt them down with my got to be fantastic styling mousse. you can use whatever you feel is you know preferred but I like the styling mousse because it just helps lay the hair down it doesn't get too hard and also it will help you sculpt the baby hairs a lot easier so you want to take your mousse and just apply some of that to the edges along with a little bit of gel which I'm using right here and that's the got to be glam force 48 hour gel I love this stuff it works great um, it will also hold your wig down in place too girls, but keep in mind if you use the gel on your wig You're definitely going to have to wash it off. It does not remove like the hairspray So I would definitely say try the hairspray out. You can get it at Ulta online for $4.99 They have a lot of great deals on the got to be now. This is the part here since I went ahead and added the mousse I'm just gonna you know fix my baby hairs or sideburn hairs or basically I'm just going to take them and push them away I push them downwards so that way it, I have space to spray my hairspray onto the lace as you see me doing here and this is just me adhering the wig I don't have to really do a whole bunch of stuff to adhere my wig like glue gel and all that stuff that's a lot of work and it's a lot of mess just using this hairspray alone like I said will last for a good three to four days plus like I said if you use a headscarf then you're good to go it dries quickly so you don't have to blow dry it like you see me doing here but if you don't have a blow dryer you can definitely let it um, air dry just make sure that while it's air drying you're using like a rat tail comb just to press into the lace or you can use a scarf me personally I don't like the scarves because it smashes the hair down so I went ahead and did it on the opposite side and now I'm going to go ahead and saturate this hair with the conditioner water and you just want to condition it or excuse me moisturize it and saturate it really well as you guys see me doing here and I just really wanted to see if this hair would be able to style back without me having to rewash it normally I rewash the wigs once I pre pluck them especially the curly ones but for this time I was lazy and I just really wanted to try it out so now just to give my hair <coughs> excuse me just to give my hair some of the volume and definition I did use my denim brush which is basically a fake denim brush I mean it works just the same girl it was only a dollar 50 at the Japanese dollar store so I actually really do like it and I should have bought more than one because I ain't about to be paying like 10 and 12 dollars for a denim brush so this one right here for a dollar 50 works great so as you guys see the parting is great you're not gonna get a lot of parting in it but you know it is enough I don't need a part all the way back to the back of my neck just give me enough girl and I'm happy 
Now onto the styling, just a little bit more mousse, you know, make it defined. I like this mousse a lot, by got to be. I will say that this mousse is really nice. It does give your hair more volume. It is collagen mousse, so it does plump it up. Plus the sheen on it, the sheen, the hold is a really good hold and sheen. So I do like this mousse a lot because it actually will leave the hair looking wet, especially right here where you see me brushing it in at with my wispy hairs and such it will definitely leave the hair with this wet look so if you guys want to try a really good mousse definitely check out the got to be fantastic and i'm just going to go and apply just a little bit of hairspray just to hold it down and just sculpt those wispy hairs or baby hairs or whatever you want to call them so that way i camouflage this unit or the, the lace but for the most part it looks really good it's affordable you know what i'm saying you don't have to pay a lot for a wig especially you know there's so many different vendors out so you just have to find the right one and i think like i see they do have some really good affordable hair they have an aliexpress store along with that they do have a site of store on amazon and i'm not sure if i can remember correctly if they have their own store i do believe they do but i will definitely link all of their information below for you girls so you can check them out they have really good wigs they're super affordable and as long as you can customize like i'm doing here with the makeup then you're good to go the reason why i did this is i did bleach the knots and and such but the lace was just a tinted a tint too dark for my skin tone so I decided just to use my cream concealer as a base along with that I'm going to be using my Becca Cosmetics Hydra Mist setting powder um, I would prefer or I would suggest to just use a base coat before you're using any type of facial powder because it will allow the facial powder to stick to the lace so you don't want to just put just facial powder on the lace because it will definitely not stick you want to definitely make sure to put some type of base and this is the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah that's about it you guys all the information is down below <laughs> So the hair really reacted well to just water and conditioner without having to wash the entire thing because sometimes that gets a little bit tedious when I have to constantly do it over and over. The curls are should pop in like they real cute. Like look at them. Came through. Definitely you have to put some conditioner in your water. Um, the only thing that gave me the little bit of challenges was the actual wig color, like the lace color itself. It is a little bit too brown because it's a medium brown. So I just hooked it up with some of my, you know, concealer and stuff. I didn't even put any on this side because originally I was just going to keep the hair parted to the one opposite side, but then I decided to flip it over, so I don't even have that on that side. But for the most part, it's affordable. It's nice. You ain't got to go all out spending a whole bunch of money, especially if you need, like, a nice curly unit. AliExpress has some bomb wigs. You know, you got to just pick through them with the vendors, but I promise you guys it's worth it. This is, like, the third wig that I've done for them. I did do one, like, about a couple weeks ago, so, you know, I, I, I say give them a try. So this is the Water Wave. I think it was like 18 inches. I'll post everything below for you guys. I love you. Stay deep and deep delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Jazzy, jazz, jazz. And I'll see you in a soon to come video.